Improving our lives is probably the most difficult thing for us to do consistently and effectively. I bet you can think of five things right now that if you could change would lead immediately to making your life better. Get more sleep, lose weight, drink more water, be more productive, work more, work less, meditate, less time on social media, have more connected relationships, get that toxic person out of your life, self-care. Personal growth and self-improvement can feel like an uphill battle, like pushing that rock up the mountain only to have it come rolling down on top of us before we get to the top. But there is something that you can do that will immediately help you make the change you want to make and eventually become a better version of yourself. Hey everybody, I'm Lori Sulpizio and I'm so happy you're with me today. Before we begin, if you want to hit that subscribe button, it's super helpful for me and the channel. It allows us to do a little more with our work and get more videos out to more people. So why do we so often fail to make self-improvements that stick? Why is it so hard to do positive things that will last? Well, there's a few reasons for this. We're often motivated by fear, regret, or shame. We regret that we haven't lost the 15 pounds we gained over the pandemic, or that we haven't finished the book we started a month ago. We feel badly that our to-do list never seems to be checked off, but making a change from this negative place is never going to stick. The other thing is we fall prey to the go big or go home effort. So you attempt to make this sweeping change to your life only to find it's not sustainable. Our habits and patterns run deep and you're not going to be able to just rewrite them all like that. Finally, we underestimate how big of a process making lasting change really is and we don't give ourselves the tools that we need to undergo such an effort. This makes it all sound pretty futile, but I'm going to tell you that you can change your patterns and habits and you can improve your life. There's no magic ticket to this, but there is an approach that really works. Get 1% better every day. It might seem overly simple, but it's not. It's actually just simple enough to allow you to do it. Here's the thing with this. This is built on the idea that small changes consistently implemented lead to a large compound effect over time. Let me say that one more time. When we begin a daily practice to be just a little bit better every day, those changes then become the big change that we're looking for. Here's an example. The British cycling team in 2002 had very little record of success. So they brought in a new coach, David Brailsford, and his hope was to turn this team into a championship high level elite cycling team. He believed that if they broke down all the elements of being a cycling team and then improved each of those things by just 1%, they would end up seeing a huge compound improvement in their performance. He initially thought that it would take him five years to win a Tour de France, but he did it after two years of implementing this. In 2008, at the Beijing Olympics, they won seven out of 10 golds. The performance improvement was huge, all from making small changes over time. Some of the changes he made you would expect, like getting lighter tires on the bike, getting the outdoor cyclists to wear indoor cycling uniforms because they were a little more aerodynamic and lighter. But then there were things that you wouldn't have expected. Because it's so grueling and tiresome to stay at hotels night after night during a long competition like the Tour de France, he determined what the best pillows and mattresses were to give the cyclists the best night's sleep, and they took those mattresses and pillows with them on the road. They took their maintenance truck and painted the floor a pristine white because they knew that any dirt or debris on the ground could get in the way of bicycle repair maintenance and so this way they could make sure that floor was clean. These little improvements ended up making huge difference in the overall performance and the results are evident. They became a championship level cycling team. With this 1% gain approach, there's no unrealistic expectation. These 1% better changes are doable. Here's what we know to be true. Fast success doesn't occur. There is no get rich quick, lose weight overnight, achieve all your goals in a day. But this is how we approach almost all change. We try to make these huge resolutions at the end of the year and they end up becoming a distant memory by March. 
We try to transform our whole way of living and it's not sustainable because it's taking us so far away from our current habits and patterns that eventually we find our way back there because that's what's comfortable. So with this 1% approach, we're working on creating new habits and patterns just a little bit at a time. And what we're doing is getting ourselves to be comfortable with this new behavior. And eventually then, these behaviors become part of our everyday and they end up lasting. The other great thing about this is how one change over here is gonna affect your life over there. So think about this. If you start by just getting a little bit more sleep every night, certainly you're gonna wake up more rested and then you're gonna have more energy in the day. But when you have more energy in the day, you're gonna find that you're more focused and more productive. And when you're more focused and productive, you're more efficient. So all of a sudden, your time management is better. And so you may have extra time to spend quality time with your kids, undistracted, or to get exercise in when otherwise you wouldn't. We see this so much with our work around leadership development, when we work on developing a meditation and grounding practice for high level leaders. So we start with two minutes a day. And then we increase that to three minutes and then we work on five minutes and pretty soon leaders who are never able to meditate are able to sit there for 15 to 20 minutes a day and you know what happens they're less reactive they're more connected to their employees and to the people in their life that are important they're more thoughtful when they make decisions all from just a small incremental one percent improvement around a mindfulness practice sometimes it's the things that you wouldn't expect that end up making the greatest difference. Again, the cycling team, changing the pillows and getting comfortable mattresses that eventually helps your body feel strong and recovered to impact performance. And who would have thought that being more mindful could help you make smarter and more effective decisions? Small changes, but when you put them all together, it yields an amazing result. All right, so you remember the list from the beginning of the video, all those things that we know get in our way? Change efforts fail because we're motivated by the negative emotions, fear, regret, shame, and it's just not sustainable. Well, with this 1% better approach, we're in a totally different mindset. We're in a more focused and immediate mindset. Doing things a little bit better every day actually helps foster a positive attitude. It reinforces that we can make changes and it gives us a sense of self-agency and success. We fail because of this go big or go home approach. Well, the 1%, it's not a big change. We're talking like five more minutes of sleep, three minutes less on social media, two more phone calls each week to those friends that you wanna stay connected to. So we're not forcing ourselves to get out of all of our debt right now, publish that book, lose all the weight we gained. We're taking small changes. This isn't go big or go home. It's a little bit every day, just get better. And I promise you down the road, you're gonna wake up and realize, whoa, that big change is here. And then finally, our tendency to underestimate how big of a process change really is and how we don't often have the tools. So we're gonna allow us to realistically build tools as we go along doing the little things bit by bit. One of those tools is to have a plan, get clarity about what you're gonna change. Well, with the go big or go home approach, it's really difficult to think how to even begin to create a plan that's gonna last and make such huge changes. We don't have any clarity around what we wanna do, but thinking about 1%, you can get really clear on one small change. I bet you could think about one little thing right now that you clearly could figure out a way to make a small improvement. Another skill that we don't often develop is our skill for resiliency, our skill to be able to rise and rebound when we get knocked down. But here's the thing, when we do the 1%, because they're small changes, we're less likely to be hugely knocked down. And if we do have a fail, it's a small fail and we get ready to try again tomorrow. So we aren't needing to have massive resiliency to endure this huge change and then all the grief that comes when we fail. We have little failures, so we need little bits of resiliency. And each day that we continue to do this, we build a little more resiliency that ends up becoming a big tool in our toolbox for down the road. When we do this, we are forming the habits and patterns that are healthy and desirable and that will end up staying with us. And the most important tool, Self-compassion. Always when we do this work, we have a tremendous amount of self-compassion for ourselves. And if you don't have it right now, we want to encourage you to develop it. 
we give ourselves grace because again, that change process is a difficult one. Habits run deep, so we extend gratitude for ourselves even for trying. Just watching this video demonstrates that you want to be better in your life. So if you don't get that 1% today, or if you do great for a week and then fall back for a little bit the next week, all right, you try again tomorrow. What does that 1% better mean for you? This is the fun part. It's finding out all the little changes that you can make in your life to be that much better. Remember, we're not talking monster changes. In fact, it shouldn't be. And think outside the box. It doesn't always have to be where you would expect. Where might you find other creative ways to improve just a little bit that might help you in other areas of your life? Think about this if you're a person who develops others as part of your daily job. If you're a sports coach, how might this shift the way you help your athletes think about improving themselves over the season? If you're a teacher, this could be such a great way to help students in your classroom slowly improve over the year. And if you're an organizational leader or a manager, wanting people to improve and realize their potential, this 1% method could be a great way for realistically improving performance. If you're a parent, how might this 1% be put in place with your kids to just make things a little bit better every time? In many ways, you're picking your battles and you're starting small. All you want them to do is clear their plates today. Then tomorrow we're gonna work on loading those plates in the dishwasher. Maybe the first step is getting those clothes in the hamper for a week, and then the next step is getting them over to the laundry room. Little bits that are doable, small pieces of success, and over time, you're gonna be amazed at the change that you have. So if you have ideas about what you're gonna do, put it in the comments. If you have questions and you need a little support about how to make a particular 1% change on some aspect of your life, put it down below and we'll definitely respond and help you out. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. There's a whole group of us going through the ups and downs of life, trying to be our best selves, live and lead a little more consciously every day. So can you get just 1% better every day? Thank you so much for joining me. Finding ways to be our best selves is certainly not easy, but doing it together in a community is all the more powerful and it sets us up for more success. So I'm glad you are here, part of our community. All right, I will see you next time. Until then, 1% better.